Hello, this reading is for the Capricorn Collective for Friday. Oh, yes, Friday. <laughs> um, this is indeed for Friday, February 2nd. Let's see, Capricorns, what will be coming through your collective's ether? What energy? What messages? For Friday. February 2nd, 2024, Capricorns, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, oh nice energies it looks like, let's see what this message is about, Capricorns, Ten of Swords, Ah, a decision has been made. I'm going to push these off to the side. <laughs> Let's just take a closer look and see what... A decision has been made. Feels like in your favor, but let's see, Capricorn. I'm going to do a one... No, I'm going to do a three-card clarifier on these. Let's see. What is this ending? King of Wands, Seven of Cups, Strength. You know, this really feels to me, this spread right here, these energies. It's almost like cutting out, I don't know if I could say this word, bullshit. <laughs> and that's what I feel that this refers to. If I was to summarize these energies, King of Wands, Seven of Cups, Strength. It's like cutting out the bullshit. Not to use that bad word, but, you know, cutting out what no longer serves you. <laughs> you shed something, a whole bunch of unnecessary things. Let's see what the Six of Pentacles, what energy is behind that. The world... Three of Wands. It's like a change of direction. Obviously, too, with the Six of Pentacles energy here, being in between the Queen of Swords and the Ten. The Ten of Swords, I really feel, as I said, this is cutting out the bullshit getting rid of what no longer serves you because between this king of wands and the seven of cups it's like a whole bunch of hassle that is that even necessary that strength card in there is like having the discernment to go and see what out of these items really deserve your attention this is like you know drama queen and bullshit king of wands and seven of cups especially with the fact that it makes up the ten of swords energy um, for this energy here, a Six of Pentacles clarified by the world, Three of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. This is like choosing a healthy direction to go into. Let me just see what this Queen of Swords is all about. The Emperor, Nine of Swords, and... Seven of Wands. You know, even though there's a little bit of self-doubt or there could be some there could be some insecurity about whatever decision's being made. I feel that whatever decision you're making or how this decision will affect you, ultimately it's for the best. And it aligns with the stance. You know, somehow this aligns with your own stance. I feel like a message is coming in, an opportunity, because you've you've made the choice to get rid of some unnecessary crap and focus only on what what serves you. That's what I see here in these energies. This is good news. Good news because you took the necessary actions or the necessary mindset to realize it. So there's good news in your collective energy for Friday, Capricorns. Message number one. 
message number two with our Lady of Means, Nine of Pentacles. Let's see what message this energy has for the Capricorn Collective. Queen of Cups, the Moon, and ooh, Capricorn. Ooh. I wonder if this is you coming into your power. Or let me just go and dive into this a little bit more. If I was to summarize the message I get from these cards by themselves, that's coming into your power. Queen of Cups, the Moon, the Sun. Especially too, since water is an ebb and flow. And whether the tide pulls or comes forward, it still is always moving. There isn't really a bad or a, or a good. It just is um, a state of flux and working in that state of flux. But this feels like coming into your power. Let's see. Should I do the Queen of Cups? Let's do the Queen of Cups. Two of Swords. Let's see. Is that? I'm going to clarify that a bit more. This is like trusting yourself. Two of Swords, Ten of Cups, and Judgment. Clarifying our Queen of Cups, who is all about intuition and emotions and um, going on the feelings anyway. This is like um, going on instinct and having good instinct. <laughs> Trusting your instinct. Let's see. That wanted to pop out, so I guess we'll keep it. Two of Wands. Five of Pentacles. This is persevering. Two of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, clarifying the moon. This is holding fast to your tr um, convictions, persevering, faith, faith in yourself. Feel this perseverance and faith in yourself. Let's see the sun. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and Eight of Swords. I'm going to get a closer read on the Eight of Swords. Two of Cups. Get a closer read on the Wands. It's like being alone. Okay, so this is the message I get for you Capricorns. I don't feel I need to clarify this Ten of Pentacles because while it does yield to like or can speak to the ultimate in a successful family union it's also creating the environment in which you could be yourself the most authentically and the most comfortably right with the hermit clarifying the Ten of Wands, I feel like this is the weight of being alone. Especially in context to this, like, you know, you're building up your own comfortable home environment, but yet you're still alone. And then the fact that the Eight of Swords is being clarified by the Two of Cups, this again speaks to loneliness. I think... Capricorns, what I have here is just a general message. And for those of you who may be, which I'll get into this message as well. <laughs> it's coming up. It's the third third energy that's coming coming through. But on this energy, the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, I think this is really telling you to be comfortable in your own skin. 
okay the the sun is clarifying ten of pentacles and then these two cards which is basically the same message it's a confirmation of the same message and this is really to be comfortable in your own skin you feel uncomfortable here you feel it's a great burden same here you feel uncomfortable because you're alone yet you have a stable I want to almost say a stable shell to be yourself. And I feel like with his son, it's telling you there's no reason to feed into that. You know, be... This is just a general message to... On Friday, or just in general. You know, to be comfortable with who you are and where you're at. Especially if you're single. And just... um You know, celebrate your own qualities. I feel that's really what it's saying here. You're being too hard on yourself, <laughs> okay? You could have a tendency to be too hard on yourself. And there's no reason to be. Celebrate yourself. That's message number two. Now let's see this four of, of wands. Let's see. Four of wands clarified. The Devil, Capricorn Energy, King of Pentacles. Well, obviously an opportunity is coming for you, Capricorns. Someone with money. <laughs> someone someone well off. You're not going to get like a bum. Uh, male or female. Okay. No offense to the people that like, you know, choose that lifestyle. The li lifestyle of, um, you know, Spartacan desires and... Spartan um, wants and needs, you know, but uh, this is someone who <laughs> doesn't believe in that. So that's coming your way. Let's go and find out a little bit more about it. Let's see. Could this devil energy being made up of page of swords, grief, well, grief, uh, five of cups, and the Page of Wands be someone who sees you as a missed opportunity? I don't get old person here. This seems like somebody who you may know who will reach out because they see you as a missed opportunity and they've been obsessing over it. Let's see this. Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Matching Art. King of Pentacles and telling you to be fine being single pre-Empress state. Anyway, you have some good energies coming in. Let's see the other two for this Ace of Wands. Look at that Capricorn. An opportunity is coming your way. Under the Ace of Wands energy. Under the Ace of Wands energy. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, death. If you have, <laughs> if you have been um, hoping for a certain type of relationship and opportunity to come your way, because it's also all these energies are clarifying the Four of Wands. That's the main energy here, the main message. Some big change is coming your way. Look at that. All clarifying the Ace of Wands. Some good news is coming your way. Big changes. Okay, let's see this King of Wands, King of Pentacles, rather. And the Empress. So oh, that's like the final, in sort of the progression of the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Empress. Well, not King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. But the Empress. The Empress is like the final stage, right? Of maturation for the. Queen of Pentacles. So we have Empress, Hierophant, and the Six of Swords. I feel like this is someone coming to you right. Someone is going to take their time. And they're coming to you very seriously. I feel like a big relationship is coming, a serious relationship is coming your way. 
Well, this is not a bad devil. This is a maybe an obsessive devil and a disappointed devil, but he's like rectifying it, he or she. Uh, yeah, you have an opportunity in love coming. It looks serious. It looks very serious, but um, a life partner. Looks like some of you will have a candidate to be a life partner coming into your energy. Okay, so congratulations on uh, two bits of good news and remember to celebrate yourself, okay? That's the messages I have for you for Friday, Capricorn. Let me know if this resonates. Uh, like and leave a comment. Um, you can also subscribe. I'll be putting out regular videos, daily videos for your collective, and I look forward to um, spending time with you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.